in the previous video I showed you how to dismiss the on-screen keyboard for iOS applications. In this video we're going to cover the third and final option. The previous video covered someone pushing a button or touching part of the screen and for this one we're going to cover someone pressing the return key on the keyboard. Now to do this it uses a process called delegation which is a very common theme that you will see throughout iOS and something that you'll have to get used to if you're not familiar with and at first it can seem a little daunting but it's actually pretty straightforward once you've played around with it for a little while and this is actually a good way here with the keyboard is a good way to to understand the basics of delegation so let's get into this and we'll work our way through it and I'll try and explain it the best I can so what we're gonna do I have this text field here and I'm gonna right click or control click on the text field and drag over to my view controller here and let go and the pop-up list you'll see at the bottom here one of the outlets is delegate and I'm just going to click on there and so what we've just done is we've basically told the view controller I want you to take care of some things for me for the keyboard I'm, I'm delegating the the process of doing that I'm asking you to process code for me as the text field so let's explain that a little bit by going through some documentation here. In the organizer, if you look up the documentation, and let's just go across here and I'll show you. You can see there's our outlet here, the delegate and the view controller. But if you go through and you look at this one here, you'll see that you can very quickly access the UI text build class reference in the organizer. And I'm just going to bring the organizer up here. And part of that is this UI text field delegate protocol reference which sounds very flamboyant but is actually pretty straightforward and it's listing here the the items that you can delegate and all of these are optional in this case on some other things you'll find some of them are required and what that means is if you choose to have something act as a delegate for you then you need to implement all the methods that are required and provide code for that now if we scroll down here, the one we want is this one here, text field should return. I'm just going to click on there and it's going to bring up here for us and you will see that it asks the delegate, in this case our view controller, if the text field should process the pressing of the return button. That is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to copy this method here to the clipboard. Now let's get rid of our documentation. I recommend you read it thoroughly and let's go back to some code here so I'm just gonna click on our view controller M file and all I need to do is I'm just gonna add it in here I'm just gonna paste and of course we need to put our curly braces and I'm gonna say you'll remember this from the previous video if not go take a look and I'm just gonna say text field and I want you to resign first responder and I also need another one here and it's gonna be true now what I've done here, you'll see that incoming, if you have multiple text fields on the screen, that I'm basically saying whichever text field you are, whichever one has focus at this point, I want you to resign first responder. And as part of what I need to do here is I need to return a Boolean because it's not void. It says it, it, it does expect a return. So I'm going to return true. So I'm just going to save this and I'm going to run it. And so we'll click on our text field, we'll enter some text, and now when I hit the return key, the keyboard disappears. And that's all you need to do to make the keyboard disappear from the screen in an iOS application when they hit the return key. Read through the documentation on delegation. Uh, like I say, it's something you will come across a lot, and this is a good, simple way to start playing with it and understanding it. Check out extra videos on uibuzz.com, and you can follow us on Twitter at UI Buzz. Thank you.